We're going to start out with a piece of clay and you can use a mat. One of these two are the kind to get a little texture on your clay. We're going to be making a slab out of clay, um, kind of like a clay cookie. So when you're making it, you want it to be a nice thick cookie and not a really thin cookie. But this is more ice cream sandwich and that's way too big. So we also want it larger. So what we're going to do is take our fist and bang down. So I have a good thickness here, not too thin, still kind of sturdy. And I'm going to take a cookie cutter with the circle side and cut by pressing down. And then I can peel the excess off. And this is going to be my pig's face. So at this point you can take your clay over here to your mat, take your extra clay and don't smash it up. And we're going to use this extras to make the ears. If you want to keep the texture on here, you can just cut your triangle straight from here. Let's just do that. You can use your popsicle stick or your pointy tool. I'm going to cut two triangles for the ears. And to get those to stick, you have to score and slip. Okay, so I've got my toothbrush and water. And we're not going to brush our teeth. That would be disgusting. Um, we're going to score and slip with this by making lines in our clay. And the slip is the water. So I'm making the lines and really kind of giving it a good scrub on both sides and then I can attach that by pressing down. And then not just pressing down, but you also wanna take your finger and spread the, the clay so that it, it really attaches really well. And then you're gonna do the same thing for the other ear. So now, in order to make him look really, like a really good pig, he needs a snout. So I'm going to take a little bit of my clay and roll it up like a ball, moving it back and forth in between the palm of my hands. And once I get a pretty decent ball, it doesn't have to be perfect, mine's not a perfect sphere, but I'm going to take this round shape and smash it down to make another little clay cookie and see how I like it for the nose. I think that's pretty cute because he does kind of want a thick nose for a pig. So I'm going to do the same thing where I score and slip using my toothbrush. And I'm actually going to make a few more score marks with my stick. And then press that on. And I'm gonna do the same thing with two eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and rip off a little bit more of my clay, roll it into a ball. And this ball, I think, is probably big enough. I got a big one. I think it's gonna be big enough for two eyes, so I'm gonna go ahead and slice it in half. If yours is big enough for two, you can do that. <coughs> if yours isn't, then you can just make do that twice and make two balls and smash it similar to the nose. But I want these skinnier because I want my pig snout to stick out more. And if your eyes are too big, I think mine are a little too big. So I'm just going to cut some of it off with my stick. Okay, now that I have my eyes ready, I have to score and slip. There's a little poem you can say to help remind you. Scoring is boring, but I make lots of lines. Slipping is dipping, and I like it just fine. Then the next part is smoothing is soothing. So I'm just going to take my stick and kind of smooth it together. Scoring is boring, but I make lots of lines. 
slipping is dipping and I like it just fine. And you could also smooth with your finger. Smoothing is soothing. It erases the lines. Okay. So now, he's pretty much done. He needs his piggy snout nostrils. You could make those, um, you could make them with the end of your popsicle stick. You can make them with this tool, and you can make eye holes with this tool. If you want to make a mouth for your pig, you can roll a coil, and I'm just going to pinch off the end there that's too thin. So now that I have the um, coil the right size, I'm going to go ahead and score and slip on the coil and the face where the mouth is going to go. Um, you can also score with a tool if you want to add lines that way. And then you're just going to align it there to where you've scored and slipped and press it down really well. And we're going to give this pig some little holes so we can hang him up after he's fired. And then we want to make sure that the holes are clear, that you can see all the way through them and that they're nice and big. And then on the back, we're going to write your name. So when you're done, bring him to me, and um, I'm going to check your name, and we're going to lay these on the big blue um, plastic trays. 2019, Year of the Pig. Today is an exciting day because today is glazing day and we're going to glaze our pigs. These are the colors that I'm putting out. Um, I have white, black, brown, some pinks, dark and light. If there's another color that you really needed, we can talk about getting that out too. One thing I want you to think about is that the colors are different. So this is pink and it will be a nice pink. But when you put it on your, when you glaze, it will look closer to white. And this changes when it goes in the kiln. And see how it's powdery here? And after the, it goes into the kiln for the glaze firing, it gets very shiny and um, the color turns truer. So this has been fired once. It's been through what we call the bisque firing. And now it's not gray anymore. It's not as brittle anymore. But we do still want to be careful with them. They're still a little bit fragile. So when we're glazing, there's normally one place that you don't want to glaze. This time we have two places. And the one is, if you know, the back or the part that sits on the kiln shelf. If we were to put glaze on this and leave it on there and put it on the kiln shelf, it would bubble and when it turns all liquidy and glassy in the heat, it, and then it cools down later, it would fuse to the shelf and be stuck there. So if we accidentally get any glaze, we're gonna wait until the very end. And if you have glaze, we're gonna check the bottom and we'll use a sponge. You can lay it flat and it's just gonna be damp, not really wet. And wipe back and forth until we get all that glaze off. The second part we don't want glaze on is right in here in the holes because we're going to hang these. So if we were to get some glaze in there, it would bubble up and fill that hole. So if we do, we're going to scratch it out with our needle tool. Everywhere else, you want to get two to three coats of glaze on yours. And two will be, will be fine. You also want to make sure that there's nowhere on there that doesn't have any glaze. Like you might think, well, I want my eyes to be white, so I'll just leave it. If you do, it's not gonna look good in the finished product because everything else will be this pretty shiny and this will be, it turns a little more yellow in the glaze firing, so it won't be as white and it will be rough. It won't be shiny like the rest of it. So we're gonna set out a different color at each table. You guys are gonna take your newspaper with your pig and carefully with two hands, carry it around to each table. You'll have to use friendship and cooperation at each table 
to make sure that you're sharing with those who are there. So if I know that I want to do a dark pink nose and I want to start with that first, I can go to the dark pink table and I'll use the brushes that are there and glaze it with two coats. And then if I decide that I want to have one ear black and one ear brown, I'll take a turn going to the brown table and the black table. And each time I will use the brushes that are in the glaze that is at that table and I will carefully carry this with two hands to the next table. Since I'm just by myself in here, I'm gonna just do it with one palette and wash my brush. Now it's all done. I'm gonna check the holes are clear. They're not clogged and the back is clean, so I'm good. Um, on the spots, I decided to do spots and you don't have to do two coats. If you already, I already have pink underneath and then I did some spots on top. If you want the spots to be a little lighter, don't do two coats. If you want them darker, then definitely go ahead and do two coats.